Dr. John Dombrowski is the director of the Center for Pain Medicine in Washington, D.C. Hey, doctor, how you doing? Great to be here. It used to be when you say alternative therapies, people started hearing, okay, people are playing harps and, you know, they're, they're rubbing herbs all over me. The, the attitude has changed quite a bit, hasn't it? Certainly. It certainly has. And the good news is for, for me as an anesthesiologist, we've, we've been in the operating room doing pain work all the time, and now we're doing over the past 50 to 60 years bringing this out of the operating room into patients' offices and to take care of them in chronic and pain. And let's face it, when people are hurting, they tend to become more open-minded because they'll look for just about anything that can make the pain go away. And we do know that because, just like your tape showed, a holistic approach is going to get people much better, faster, for a long period of time. I want to take a look and put something up on the screen here. This is yeah. a functional MRI scan. Right. And the colored areas here are showing a person in pain. That's the actual pain. Yes. So if you look, it actually affects the sensory portion of the brain and the emotional portion of the brain. Undoubtedly. So often you'll see people with uh, chronic pain, they start to become depressed, withdrawn you know, socially frustrated, just like the tape had shown. And if we can able to treat their pain aggressively with uh, complementary medicine as well as traditional medicines, we can only fix the sensory but also the emotional. So, th so that's a key, what you just said. So these therapies, these alternative therapies, are offered in conjunction oh. most times with traditional therapies. Most certainly. Again, it's integrated with medicine. All right, let's talk about some of the options out right. there. And you tell me why they're supposed to work, okay? okay. Physical therapy, what sure. does that work for? Physical therapy works wonderful for people with fibromyalgia, uh, back pain, musculoskeletal pain. Again, it's the whole idea if the muscles are in spasm, touch, massage, stretching it out. As you can understand, can certainly help the situation improve. I I've heard people say when you get a massage, you get oxygen into the muscles. Is that, is that accurate? Well, there's something to be said for that because sometimes if muscles are tremendous contraction or in spasm, it, they have the inability to get oxygen to those muscle cells. The muscle cells become more a acidotic, build up carbon dioxide, and create more pain. So that does, you're exactly right, Matt. People, and I am, I have to say, I've gone several times, acupuncture, right. I've tried it for golf elbow, it's worked, I've tried it for back pain, it's worked. What's the theory behind it? Well, there's really, the theory is that these points are incredibly special. The NIH has done many studies with this over the past 20 years, and they've shown that these points are, have greater uh, electrical resistance. There's some sort of hole in, uh, that we can touch and create this move, this energy to get people better that you've experienced yourself. And, and we showed it works great for back pain. Also, people with migraine headaches migraine get headaches. great results with acupuncture. That's right. What about yoga? Yoga, again, the whole idea of yoga, it's sort of like physical therapy, relaxation techniques, but with movement. And again, my own mother used to do this. She would uh, take yoga classes, again, to help her with her uh, chronic, she had peripheral neuropathy. It's been wonderful for that. Again, the whole idea is to get you limbered up, to do deep breathing, just like you do in yoga. And you want to see just how far you can take this. A lot of people say meditation mm -hmm. gives them wonderful results if they have cancer pain. Exactly. And we've done that with patients in my own office, with people who have had pain and they're on a host of medications and they start to become too somnolent, too sleepy. We can do some meditation with them, do them biofeedback and relaxation techniques and they can take care of their own pain in their own mind. Bottom line, if you're someone experiencing pain and you go to your traditional doctor and that doctor talks about alternative therapies as all this much hocus pocus, what should you do? I think you should go on the internet or, 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 or seek something out. This has been a great venue here on the Today Show. Millions of people have seen this, and they think there's something to this. And because there is science behind it, we know that there's something to and this. And you know what? If it makes you feel better and takes the pain away, it doesn't matter what other people think. Exactly right. Dr. John Dombrowski, thanks very much. Thank you for the time.